Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Jojo Dawson, Texarkana, Texas. Breakthrough and Destiny I was recently in a time of prayer, and I kept feeling breakthrough in my spirit. Then I heard the Lord say, when breakthrough happens, destiny collides. I knew as I continued to pray that this was a word for many in the body of Christ. Many times we pray for God to give us breakthrough, but then once we receive it, we do not walk in that freedom in a greater level of our destiny. However, I believe that God is about to release breakthrough over many in this season, and they will all be properly stewarding it and accelerating it into their God-given destinies. When God called Moses to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt, the Lord was answering their cries to be delivered. Moses' destiny was tied to Israel's breakthrough. God did not deliver them out of the Egyptians just so that they could stay in the wilderness forever. No, the Lord gave them breakthrough so they could step into their promise, the promised land. Just because you receive your breakthrough does not mean that you should stop moving forward with God. Whenever God sends you breakthrough, it is because he has something greater for you to step into and giants to slay. God never delivers you from anything without the intention of bringing you into something else. Most people become so used to crying out to God to deliver them that they have not prepared themselves for what God wants to do through them once they have broken free. Most people can handle being in bondage, but unfortunately cannot handle being free. I see people all the time that have been set free, but are still wandering around in the wilderness, as it were. My friends, this is your season to cross over into your promise and take hold of your destiny. Jeremiah 17.10 says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I examine the mind to reward a man according to his way, by what his deeds deserve. In this season, I want you to really examine yourself and ask yourself if you are conducting your life according to the prophetic promises God has given to you. The only thing holding you back is your mindset. Isaiah 55.11 says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. This scripture tells us that if we have a promise from God, then it will not return to the Lord void. This means that if we have unfulfilled promises, it's because it's either not the timing of the Lord or it hasn't come to pass yet. Or maybe we've improperly stewarded that promise. The only way to step into your destiny and to see every promise come to pass in your life is to fight for that word until you see it come to pass. If God has given you a word for your life or your marriage, for your children, business, ministry, or whatever it is, then you can believe that the word will come to pass. The Lord is looking for those in this season who will contend for the promises that have yet to come to pass and bring breakthrough for them. I want to challenge you today to do whatever it takes to position yourself for the destiny God has for you. Everything that God has for you to to do just waiting on you. It's just waiting on you so that you can go forward. What are you waiting on? When your breakthrough happens, destiny will collide. So be ready for it. Whenever the Lord brings you out of one thing, he wants you to be ready to step into the next thing. This is your season to break free from bondage, take hold of your breakthrough, and launch into your destiny. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I'm so thankful for this encouraging word. Lord Jesus, we know that breakthrough is tied to our destiny. Lord, you move us incrementally like the children of Israel through the promised land. If you gave it to us all at once, God, we'd probably short circuit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for breakthrough and destiny over my friend. Lord, I pray that the breakthrough will come to pass, that my friend will achieve the destiny that you have marked out. The plan and the purposes of you, God, will prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.